Howdy. What's going on, everybody? Okay, so this here is some of the things that normies need to realize what's going on and, and what's happening with the backwards ways of the left. Okay, so I hope this video goes out to lefties, to all the people with pink hair, hormone blockers, tight britches on, and the ones that stand with Ukraine because they're just blindly doing what they're told. Now, don't get me wrong. I'm not taking sides on this. I desperately plead and pray for the people who are innocent on both sides, okay? So... A lot of propaganda coming out on both sides means that it makes it very hard to determine who's doing what and why. But there are a lot of things coming out that'll help later on. So we'll, we'll cross that bridge in a little bit. However, it is a thing that these a lot of the lefties want or, or, or the communists or the globalists or the ones who are on TikTok and don't realize what's going on. They're all about these open borders because they say it's not, it's racism, it's free, you know, everybody needs to be free and, 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 and you know, be able to be free, should be able to uh, achieve asylum because of uh, countries that they're in that are uh, under severe turmoil and making it where they cannot live. So you're looking at a situation where Ukrainians are actually trying to come through the United States border of Mexico because of the fact they know that it's open and everybody's coming in. But it looks like Ukrainians seeking asylum denied entry at the U.S. southern border due to the fact that there's some kind of policy to this jab that they got going on here. All of a sudden, now policies are a big issue. Now, that throws a red flag up, and I'll read just a little bit about the article, and I'll see what it says here. Several Ukrainians seeking asylum in the United States were turned away by U.S. Border Patrol officers due to the policies of the C-19 and the jab. In an interview with the San Diego Union Tribe, a Ukrainian national, uh, Sofia uh, fled her country together with her three children. Now, this is a woman that has three children to the uh, the only family she has outside of Ukraine as a U.S. citizen who lives in California who actually has a real family that can be documented and there is record of these people being here so they have somewhere to go. The 34-year-old mother was denied entry to the U.S. twice due to the C-19 policies through uh, brought confusion to the asylum seekers because of Joe Biden made an announcement to welcome uh, these Ukrainian refugees with open arms. Biden has opened the U.S. border to over 2 million illegal aliens in one year without any ID or C-19 tested documentation. U.S. border officials in San Diego are, on Wednesday are turned away by the Ukrainian family that was trying to seek asylum for the Russian invasion. Now, let me tell you why. Because Ukrainians are leaving a place where there was communism. They're trying to get away from it. So what they'll do is they want to go somewhere where it's free. That means that they're going to vote for freedom. They're going to look for freedom. They're going to seek out the ones that are against freedom and communists and vote those people out. Okay, well, the problem with that is the left doesn't want that. They want a certain class of people to come in. Not class, but just a certain ideological of people. Let me rephrase that, okay? So ideologically is what they're looking for. They're looking for people who are going to be in it for the free stuff, that's going to be in it for the, uh, the all the socialist agendas because of the fact that that's kind of what they're, they're, that's the comfort zone that they want to live in. The countries that they're in are trying to get away from that and driving those people out. They're coming up here. Not to mention the criminals that are being let out of prisons because of the fact that their economy can't support all these prisoners and they have to do something with them, so they're letting them out and shoving them up here. Those people are going to be involved in crime and are going to be for communists in different situations that are against us American way. you got a lot of people that are coming in from uh, Afghanistan that are not going to be acclimated to our way of life, and they bring really young wives, and they do a lot of really bad things to children because that's their way of life. They're not going to come over here and be part of our society. They're going to come over here and bring their society upon us and then inflict it upon us and take our freedom so that they can live how they want to live. That's the problem. The United States knows that the Ukraine is trying to get through here to flee that tyranny. are going to vote for freedom, and they ain't going to want that. They want their, their base to be involved. So there is a movie that I'm going to link in the description here, and I've had, I did this before, and then I had some people say that they had a hard time for it to play. Well, after the six or seven minute mark, if you'll fast forward through that movie, you'll you'll be able to, to see the whole thing. And it, it involves some of the history that uh, brought Ukraine to the place to where it's at. It's no opinionated stuff. This is just facts. These are interviews by actual world leaders, uh, by some of your most well-known news organizations that actually, it's you know. So anyway, so please take time to watch the video. The reason being for it is because on Thursday at eight o'clock, it's going to be Shannon Fox, Dave and Callie, Matt from Matt in Exile, and I will be doing a live stream question and answer and a little bit of a touch and base of the a lot of, on the movie that because I I got to watch the whole thing and it was really informative. A lot of stuff I knew. It was nice to brush up on a lot of that stuff. It reminded me of things I remember hearing about back in the day when I was a lot younger, not quite so aware. So if you take time to watch this movie, I'll put it in the comments and in the description of the video. Please check it out. If you have trouble, just fast forward through the part that won't play. It'll play after that. Did for me, anyhow. And um, and on 
Thursday this week, 8 o'clock, we're going to be live. I'll send out some links and some shorts if y'all want to check it out. We'd love to see everybody in the comments because of the fact that we like to interact with the audience. And it's a wonderful pleasure to have all the people there. And it helps grow uh, the thing that we're trying to do here, to save America, uh, changes the narrative. But just please know that right now there are a lot of really desperate people who would come over here and help the cause of freedom if they were allowed to. But the left, the Biden administration, the ones that the TikTokers love so much and can't just be, love but be feel involved trying to help whenever they're at the, the White House is in touch with individual TikTokers to help spread a narrative and TikTok is allowing it to happen, which is owned and ran by the Chinese Communist Party, which I really hope that everybody out there can take the challenge of get rid of TikTok. Just stop. Don't no more data harvesting so that they can use that against you. Anyhow, thank you all so very much. I'm going to get out of here. Lots of love and God is in control. Check out the links, by the way. Please check out the links. Mm-hmm. <laughs>